Hi guys, welcome back. So today we learn about mirrors. About mirrors and reflection. So before we get started, let me just quickly explain you a few things. So one is that we have this Greek symbol called theta and it is used to represent angles. So if I say and um, what I use is theta i which is angle of incidence and theta r which is angle of reflection. Alright. And also to explain you quickly, we represent a mirror by this type. So what it basically is that this is my polished surface that is the back side of the mirror which we cannot see and this is the surface where light falls. So let's get started. Right? Alright, so I have written here at the top left corner just for your reference what is theta i and theta r. So now let's say we have a light source here which is the sun and I have a mirror kept here. Now what happens that the light source, the light from the light source falls on the mirror and gets reflected. So maybe say you know there's another light ray which falls like this and it gets reflected. So now I mean what how can you say that okay this will be reflected in this direction this is reflected in this direction there has to be some bizarre mood right or or do they do they just have suddenly follow any path they want to. So now right, there is a law based on that. So that is called law of reflection. Now what does this law say is that make a perpendicular on the mirror at the point of incidence. Oh, it's so confusing right? Yeah. So this is my incident ray. The ray which directly comes from the light source and falls on my mirror and this is the reflected ray. Similarly this is my incident ray and this is my reflected ray. Now what we have to do that this is my point of incidence. Now we have to draw a perpendicular to the mirror at this point. And similarly, here as well, perpendicular to the mirror at this point. Now, if we measure this angle, which is the angle what incident ray makes with the normal, so this is my normal. This is called theta i. This is angle of incidence. And if we measure this angle, this is called theta r, which is angle of reflection. So the angle which the incident ray forms with the normal is called angle of incidence, and the angle what the reflected ray forms with the normal is called angle of reflection. Now, what this law says is that whenever and a light a ray falls from a light source on the mirror and forms an angle theta i with the normal if the reflected ray also forms the same angle with the normal at the point of incidence so this is my point of incidence So now the law says, according to the law, theta of i is equal to theta of r. 
and this basically is our law. That's it. That's all what the law of reflection is. That the angle of incidence, which is this angle, will always be equal to angle of reflection. Angle of incidence equal to angle of reflection. I hope it's a little more clear what is the law of reflection. If you have any questions, just drop it down below in the comments. Alright, see you later. Bye.